Google's Home Graph provides context about smart home devices connected to the Google Assistant. It defines the relationships between users and the rooms where their devices are installed. But as a developer, how can you determine if the data stored in Home Graph is accurate? And what happens when your data doesn't match your service? In today's AOG Pro Tip, I'll show you how to use the Home Graph API to debug state problems in your smart home integration. You may already be familiar with the Home Graph API as the backbone for two critical features in every smart home integration, request sync and report state. But did you know that you can also use the API to verify the data you send to Google for each device? For example, you can issue a sync request to Home Graph to inspect the metadata for all of your devices assigned to a given user, such as the device's type, traits, and attributes. The response contains the full list of user devices provided to Google since the last sync intent. If the data from this response does not match what you expect, there may be an issue with your sync response, or you may need to call the request sync API to report user-initiated changes. You can also use the query endpoint to explore the current state of any given device. This response contains the state data found in Home Graph for that device, which should match the state you have in your cloud service. If there's a mismatch here, it may mean that you need to call the report state API each time the device state changes. Intent responses for query and execute do not update device state in Home Graph. You must ensure that you are calling report state to publish all state changes properly. You can also check out the report state dashboard utility on GitHub which allows you to view the same home graph data in the browser using a graphical interface, including helpful color coding to make it easy to determine when the device state changes. For more pro tips like this, be sure to check out the rest of our videos and share your thoughts with us on Twitter using the hashtag AOGProTips. Thanks for watching.